Today I'm on the hunt for a brand new keyboard. If you guys remember, I just built that computer from Costco. It was pretty good. Not bad for $1,000. However, it had a crummy, fake mechanical keyboard. Today, I am not going to settle for that stupid keyboard anymore. I'm upgrading to a top-of-the-line $50 keyboard that I picked up from Walmart somehow. See, I don't understand how this is possible. How are we making mechanical keyboards for 50 bucks? You know, people are regularly spending like $350, $400 in their custom builds, so there's, there's no way it can be good, right? Let's find out. And here she is in all her glory. All $50 worth. Look at this. Look at this. You hear that? I hear clickies. These have clicky keys. Real clicky keys. That's no fake membrane nonsense. I'm very impressed. I guess this is the, the Game On brand. I think that's Walmart's own uh, like gaming lineup brand. So let's test it out. This looks like a full-size keyboard too. I just don't understand how they can possibly make this this cheap. But let's go ahead and unbox it and see what's inside. All right, here we go. We're going to open her up. And there she is, boys. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand here, struggling a little bit. Holy crap, this is metal. What? This is crazy already. All right, first impressions. Here we go. Wow. Oh, that is the worst stabilizer I've ever felt. That's pretty rough. Listen to that beautiful sound. That's amazing. You know, you know, I got to say. 50 bucks. First impressions are pretty good. Let's get it all the way out. Look at this little thing. They got you, they give you like a little tutorial in case you never plugged in a USB cord before. I kind of love it. Wait, this comes with a wrist rest? Ooh, look at this. We got the wrist rest. Look at this. Look at this. Watch this. It's got magnets on it. It attaches to the bottom. So when you lift the keyboard, it all mostly <laughs> lifts together. But hey, I mean, that's something. It's not like a rubber. It's, it's like a a hard plastic, so you know it's probably not doing anything for your uh, your carpal tunnel issues, all you sweaty gamers out there. But you know, it's it's something. It's it's a free inclusion. But I gotta say, I feel like from a starting point, let's see if we can get some of these keys off. Okay, so we got like little blue boys down here. They're not cherries, but do they have like a specific brand on them? It's a little hard to read, but I think they say like Dutemi on them, which I've never heard of. But it's not terrible. Like the key itself. That's not terrible at all if you like clicky keys. I mean, it's not like my go-to, but hey, it's a mechanical keyboard. I'll take it over the crummy Costco PC uh, keyboard that they threw in that thing. So, ooh, those stabilizers need help though. So, you know, but I feel like I feel like from a good start, but you know, you get some lube on here. You get some lube on there. Maybe you can like re somehow replace the stabilizers in there or something. Maybe maybe I don't know. But it's it's not it's not bad. But all right, we unboxed it. We took a look at it. Let's talk for a second about why I would even do this. You know, why why would I want a mechanical keyboard this bad? See, I don't know if you're like me out there, but if you ever type on a membrane keyboard, you just get upset. You just get upset. For many years, I dealt with the, the Apple Magic keyboard because it's just, you know, for a long time, it was the best keyboard you could use on Mac. Um, and it wasn't bad for a membrane. You know, it's kind of it's low profile. It does the job, but it's not my favorite. Um, you know, Logitech, we actually use these Logitech ones. Um, here in the office there's someone pulling up on my left i'm very scared i don't know if you can see them there they're going to open my their door and they're going to see i'm filming and i'm going to get very very nervous this is this is very this is very disconcerting they're going to watch me they're going to ask me questions they're going to knock on my window and be like hey what you doing in there and then they're going to call the police and then i'm going to go to prison <laughs> now i can't plug in this keyboard to test the rgb i'm out in the middle of nowhere i can't plug it in maybe i'll, I'll film some b-roll of the rgbs i'm sure they're fine i'm not really an rgb guy all you youngsters out there using your your RGBs and everything. You got RGBs in your fans and your RAM sticks. You got RGB in the RAM sticks. What's going on with that? I can't even figure out how to turn off my stupid RGB on my computer. So the idea of having RGB on my keyboard, please stop. I like lights on the keyboard though. You know, you, you get some LEDs so you can see the keycaps at night or whatever in your in your dark gamer chair, your dark, sorry, your dark gamer uh, uh, cave where you, you maybe have a single ambient light in the corner from Ikea. I know all you goblins out there definitely have a, have a gaming setup like that. You can't see the keys when it gets too late. You're playing a dark game. You can't see a key. A game asks you to press the Y key or something. You're like, oh, God, where is that again? Most games don't ask you to do that. But, you know, that one, that one, that one really weird military sim you play, oh, I guess it asks for the Y key. And then you can't see it and you're miserable. So the fact that these light up, they should have RGB. We'll verify that with B-roll later when I plug it in. But anyway, some final words about the actual keyboard itself. I think the font they chose for the, the layout here is a little... A little weird it's a little too gamery what is this d what is this d doing why has it got a line through it it's so weird this g is super weird and i look at over here we got these these keys with hm instead of home or whatever these are just i don't know it's not my favorite like font or whatever look at this shift what is this what is this cringe level shift i don't like that at all 
And me personally, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of the clicky keys. I think they're just a little annoying. I don't like, you know, ruining my eardrums every day when I want to type. Um, but I still like the tactile feel. So those, those like, uh, those quieter, you know, tactile ones, I know Cherry MX Browns used to be the ones that everyone liked, but now everyone hates them. Cause I guess, I guess Cherry is just not the best key switches. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm out, I'm out of touch with the keyboard kids, but these feel very similar to you know, your traditional clicky, you know, MX blue. I think they're even a blue, a blue key switch. So it's, it feels almost identical to what you'd expect out of like a Cherry MX blue switch. All right. I'm back at the office. I have some thoughts about this keyboard. I've tried, you know, playing around with it for a little bit now. It's not quite as good as I thought it was. You know, it, it is a mechanical keyboard and it is decent, but it's just, it's not quite up to snuff. I, I, I actually almost feel like you could do better if you just bought a, like a really good membrane switch. If you know, you go to a random Walmart, Best Buy, wherever you want to go and you just like feel around a bunch of keyboards. I feel like there's like membrane keyboards that are better than this one. Like. Let me show you what I mean. So the big thing about the typing experience on this keyboard that I don't like is the way that the keys don't feel very like solid. You see, there's a lot of play even when just wiggling around here. And when I push down, it just, it just doesn't feel like it's, the keycaps are like fully seated on top of the switch. And I also don't really like how the uh, activation works. This might be common in more clicky switches. I honestly, I, I don't think I've ever owned a clicky keyboard they're not like my my go-to uh usually but i thought i'd try this one out so you guys can let me know if this is like fine this is normal for a mechanical keyboard to you but when i push down you can you can hear the switch right you can hear the clickiness but there's like a there's a long there's a lot of hanging it almost feels like if i if i positioned it just right i don't think i'll be able to do it but it almost feels like if i wiggled it enough i could actually get the key to like be stuck in a certain position because of how how lodged in it gets when you reach that activation point but yeah i'm not really too into that and i find that the whole typing experience is not very satisfying because of that none of the keys feel particularly nice there's very poor uniformity and it's possible that if i you know looped up all the keys or whatever it could fix a lot of the issues that i'm describing but i think fundamentally this is obviously just a cheap keyboard you know they actually had one in there i wasn't able to pick one up but they had one in there for 20 dollars. but the only ones they have are these 50 dollars ones from the same brand i wasn't really sure what the difference was um it also said it was a mechanical keyboard if that one is the same quality as this one i think for 20 bucks that's a little more reasonable but i feel like it might be possible you could get a better keyboard like this for uh, for fifty dollars. That's membrane. I know, I know. Blasphemy, blasphemy. Some people, you know, I know, I know you guys are out there. You're mechanical or go home. You know, it has to be a mechanical keyboard. But I don't know, man. At a certain point, a membrane keyboard that's like well made, that's pretty good, pretty satisfying to type on. It's gonna be better than this thing here. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this stupid video. Uh, I may or may not see you next time if Jacob ever lets me film a video after this nonsense again. Bye bye.